Yo, 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 ladies and gentlemen, Mike Check. Welcome into another episode, another reaction, and first reaction to The Weekends and Sam Levingson's The Idol. Uh, so far, episode three was by far the best. At this point in the series, episode four, then we only have two more episodes. I think, I think, and I think episode five is going to be part one of two. So we might have like three more watches, but uh, we need to start getting into like the, the, the nitty gritty at this point. We're more than halfway through the show. Uh, so there's not really too much to say. You know how I feel about the show. A lot of people have got mixed reviews and basically as it should. Script writing is a little bloated at times. Abel's acting is not great at times, but when they, when it does shine, it does shine like the, like the table scene last last episode or like or like lily's performance in the music video episode where she would like basically had a breakdown like these are the things that hold the show together even if the script writing is subpar at times and just bloated at times so let's see what we got with this one i guess as always ladies and gentlemen check out patreon if y'all guys want to support the channel and support me as a creator yada 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 and most importantly if you want to see anything that's on this channel completely unedited unblurred in full check out patreon patreon is the place where all of those things are for this channel along with everything for our main channel which was a music channel everything is on patreon in full but other than that let's just see what we got let's get right on into it i'm excited we got security now yeah yeah people are gonna rob you in the palisades hey yo <laughs> oh man i mean it's supposed to be like an over the top sexual show because women are, are sexualized in ways that we are unaware of and it's a very dark place the music industry i just don't think it translates extremely well in the show i think it comes off more as i mean like maybe it's supposed to come off as creepy but i, I don't know i don't know that's why people don't like it is it's very sexually driven this show i guess you could say i don't know about this song if i'm being honest i'm just a jealous guy hey yo i did react to jealous guy it's on the it's also on patreon i didn't put it on the channel and it's crazy that i feel that i completely forgot what the song sounded like because i was like i really don't like this song and here i'm hearing it again not knowing it's jealous guy and i'm saying the same thing so it's pretty much locked in stone that i do not like this version of this song from the weekend and i'm hearing it two separate occasions and i'm like man this song's not it's mid this song just doesn't do anything for me because he's short. Ah, oh, like Napoleon. See, si, yes, exactly. Even the maids know that this dude's vibe is off, and she's the only one that doesn't see it. The maids are like, God, this guy's kind of fucking weird, huh? Leave the work with the same people inside of it, and I can sleep. He's a bad motherfucker. How bad? Bad to the fucking bone. His name is Mauricio Costello Jackson. Nah, he's not Italian. He's got ghetto ass parents. I thought that was suave or some shit. <laughs> That's beside the point. This motherfucker kidnapped his ex-girlfriend and beat the living shit out of her. Oh, come I'm on. talking about torture, crazy wild shit. I'm assuming we're talking about Tedros Tedros right here. And like Tedros Tedros is obviously a made up name. It's a, a, a alias, I guess. 10.30 a.m. is a big uh, concert update call. Yeah, the call's at 10.30. Oh, you could cancel that. <clears throat> Andrew Finkelstein, like, he's an in industry legend. Oh, the fuck, who's on the call? Cancel that. <laughs> yeah, he's not a likable character for sure. Mike Dean's coming. What the fuck kind of entrance is this? Mike Dean, what did you get yourself into by signing up for this show like this? Motherfucking Mike Dean. 2 p.m., we have a half magic meeting here at the house. That's me and Joss's makeup line. You collaborate together. Cancel it. I don't know if you understand because this is like an important... It's more it's important, important for you, but we're working for Jocelyn. Hi, we actually met before at the Grammys, but you probably don't remember. Up, how you doing? Nice to see you. I'm really excited to be working with you. Hey, yo, trying to get two musicians to also to both be two actors is not great. Mike Dean, let's see what you can do, my boy. <laughs> You're a goat on the keys. I'll give you that. Like, I like not having to make decisions for myself because I trust you. You shouldn't, bitch. You should make that the opening lyric to the song. That's got to be your decision at the end of the day. Yeah, if you're gonna work for me, you're gonna have to grow a bigger side of balls. Bro, but well, she doesn't work for you. She works for Jocelyn, man. It does make me feel. It makes me feel the way it's supposed to. It makes me feel like she's getting used. It makes me feel like her her entire personality and who she is, not her. It makes me feel like she's getting played right now. And she's not smart enough to see it. Because she thrives so well in chaos that 
a new chaos came into her life, so she feels comfortable again, even though it might kill her, type shit. We're here for Jocelyn, right? I definitely am. I am absolutely here for Jocelyn. Okay. I know that I am. Exactly. She's trying to tell you something, bitch. I know that I am. Like, I for sure know that I'm here to, to do what's right for her. I don't know about your bitch ass. Bro, this song does this song does go crazy can't even front can't even front this song goes stupid can i make a suggestion i don't think we should kill this motherfucker <laughs> the lighting's so dramatic in this fucking office are you getting fucking soft don't be no fucking pussy Jaime. come on you go to the house you be the eyes and ears let me know every detail okay i don't care how small she's gonna be like yeah he's ruining it oh those fendi glasses are hard i'm chloe all right, all right. All right, chill the fuck out. Chloe's pretty. Okay, cool. So what you do here, Chloe? Can I hear it? Figured it out for myself. Everyone telling me didn't help. Oh, it's a difference in music, bro. Who are these fucking bitches? They're just fucking here. Worthless motherfuckers. This is the real talent right here, low key. Yeah, so your tongue wants to retreat. Oh. So that's why it's covered. Ooh, ooh, ooh. But you want it out. Ooh, oh. ooh, and then let it spin talk to him. The vibrato. Crying yeah, I, I. She, she's like, I'm the fucking shit. Shut the fuck up. I'm trying to hear it. It's good, right? It is so, bro. It's so much better than she's. I'm. I'm a freak. It's just so much fucking better. Even the, even if I wasn't like a fan of the weekend and Mike Dean and their style of music that they make together, it still sounds way better than what was originally handed to the studio. I'm a manager. Oh, I thought Tedros was. <laughs> <laughs> How you know Tedros? I was living on the streets. I was a heroin addict. <laughs> <laughs> and gave me a place to lay my head on. How old are you, Chloe? So, or 18. 17 or 18, she's really 17. Leia, please, just for like, for like a minute. Just one minute. You can wait I minutes. can wait. We can just play this song. Leia, shut the fuck up, Leia! <laughs> I was talking to her. She was just <laughs> responding. Baby, it's okay. I'm gonna say it every fucking episode. They should have got somebody else other than The Weeknd to play Tedros Tedros. I don't care how good, quote unquote, or bad, quote unquote, his acting might be in certain scenes. He's too large of a fucking, he's too large of a figure in the real world for me to get lost in the story of this show. Like, I don't see Tedros Tedros. I see The Weeknd when I see him right now, like, do his lines and, and act. We should play it. Okay, that's what's up. Oh, yeah. That's it, that's it. There's Jenny. Damn, bro. Hey, Jenny's fucking gorgeous, bro. She's just so pretty. Like, Lisa gets all the attention, right? Because she's got, like, the charismatic figure, and she's a rapper, and she's probably, you know, the, she's probably the best dressed of them. But Jenny's Jenny's a baddie. Hi, Diane. I'm Natalie. Hi, I'm it's Diane. nice to meet you. Nice so to ready meet you. for if you'd like to follow mm -hmm. me this way? You stay true to that crocodile song. Stay observant. If it feels wrong, it's wrong. I'm telling you, bro, this chick is my favorite on the entire fucking show. She's so real. She's so down to earth. She's so ready to get active, you know? And she's like giving her the advice right now that it, it Tedros, like she's planting the, the seed that Tedros is wrong. He is not a good person. If it feels wrong, it is wrong. Get the fuck out without saying it like that, without being mad preachy about it. What do you think? It's dope. The beginning part, you know, you're like, don't I feel the void? Yeah. Yeah. Kind of feels like exactly what you did, like a shrub. No, like, yeah, yeah. It's like anticlimactic. Yes. Go there, be raw this. You know what I'm saying? I got just the trick. I'm just going to beat her ass. I'm going to put her in this chokehold and she's going to... Yep, see? She's smarter than Tedros is. She knows what she's doing. I want you to block out the world. I want you at the edge of coming. Okay, baby. Take it. Come the fuck on. Pun intended. I want you on the edge of coming. Oh, brother, this guy stinks! What the fuck kind of line is that? There is some kinky ass shit in this 
house. I get it, right? I fucking get it. It's an allegory. It's a fucking story. It's a it's a symbolism. It's a whatever the fuck word you want to use about how the music industry takes advantage and there's sexual things going on in the dark underbelly of the industry. I get it. That doesn't make it any less fucking dumb. And I get it's supposed to be uncomfortable to watch because we decide to blind ourselves to the reality. That's why as we like we turn a blind eye out of sight, out of mind. We don't want to see that this is the this is the symbol of the way it actually works in the music industry still dumb like all these men are laughing at her they're laughing that he's fingering her and making her like come and you know beg and in front of this room full of people still dumb and again another sex scene that runs like a minute two minutes too long Duh. and josh is on some weird ass fucking s and m shit with this dude really fucked up that we're all just sitting around watching jocelyn get assaulted all right i don't know if she's getting assaulted unless she's like under the hypnotic fucking torture of tedros tedros she's kind of volunteering for this shit and again there might be another there might be another symbol there or there's another meaning that like these women are pressured into these positions and she thinks that this is the only way that she can be the best artist because she's had it implanted in her mind i don't know maybe that's true True, maybe that's not, but to say that she's getting assaulted when she's clearly volunteering for it. Okay, I know his methods could seem odd to outsiders, but it's his process. I don't think it's worth it. You know, Tedros always says there's two types of people: the ones that support you and the ones that are obstacles. Bro, that's that's some that's literally something that a psychopath would say: that there's only two people in the world: people that support you and people that are obstacles. Like, what if I'm the sane person looking in on whatever the fuck you're in, enchanted by? Whatever you're, you don't notice that you have Stockholm syndrome. There's somebody on the outside that's got to be like, hey, this guy's not good for you. That doesn't mean that I'm on. That doesn't mean that I'm an obstacle or in your way. It means that you are literally in Stockholm Syndrome right now. You're falling for your captor. He's like using her in front of other people like she's not even a human being. Well, she's not a human being. She's a star. And stars belong to the world. I forgot this episode was called Belong to the World. It's so hard. And that's exactly what that song is about. It might be the wrong mentality saying that she belongs to the world because she's a star. So she gets so... She deserves to get used in the way that she is because she's a star. That might be the wrong mentality. But the song on Kiss Land goes crazy. She got this little girl over here, and she writes these crazy lyrics. They're like poetry, like poems. Like, if you really stop and listen to stuff, it's like you want to give your life to God. And how about Jocelyn? Is he really getting hits out of her? What he does to get it. Honey, and I done seen some shit. Tests their limits and puts them in restraints and shit. But like torture? Yes. As I'm saying, Tedros is just a, he's just a symbol for the entire music industry, the dark side of it, like pushing these people to their fucking brink just to get hits out of them. That's, that's what the music industry is. And to be honest, she's wrapping up the entire visuals of the show extremely well without being as tacky as some of the visuals of this show have been. We want your first song to be world-class center. So we just need to have you record the vocals and it's all yours. You'll have features on all the major streaming platforms. I hate that. I hate that they like build this entire side of Jenny and the storyline that that, she, that her character is. I forgot the name of her character. Is it Jenny or is that her real name? I hate that they build this entire side and then the show ends in two episodes. Like we're not gonna get to see this, the clash of the two play out. We're not gonna get to see her potentially overtake Jocelyn or what that dynamic is going to be. They literally just brought her in, filmed her, put her in like five minutes of this entire fucking show. And that's it. And if I'm being honest, this show might have been more, it might have been more entertaining if we did see that dynamic between a fallen star being sucked into Tedros's fucking whatever brainwashing and then rise out like a phoenix from the ashes and then having to compete with with Jenny's rise and stardom because she's more talented than Jocelyn is. Like that would have been an engaging storyline, but instead we got five minutes of Jenny. Is he taking a cold shower or where the fuck is the steam at? <laughs> Why is he standing in the dark like that, yo? And then he doesn't even see him. This is this is this is the weekend's profile picture right now on Instagram and on Twitter, I think. Bro, just lurking in the shadows. Boo! Fuck! <laughs> oh my god, you look like a little bitch. You, the shit. you look like a little bitch. 
What did you think I was gonna butt fuck you? <laughs> Bro, this is what I'm saying. These fucking lines in this show are dumb as fuck. Like maybe I was getting lost in the fucking moment, and then he says, "What did you think I was gonna butt fuck you?" Hey, why don't you sing anymore? I tore my vocal cords a couple years ago. You're either fully healed, or you're lying. What else did Jocelyn tell you? That her mom outed you when you were 13. Yeah, I, I didn't know that it was Julianne until much later. You should really use the gift that God gave you. All right, chill the fuck out. Finish the scene. Xander, step forward. Do you know why I use this? It's to unlock people. Tedros, can I talk to you for a second? Isaac, I'm... The fuck back, is it? All you have to do is tell me if he's lying. Leave me the fuck alone. Shut the fuck up. Let me go. Bring him down here. Shut the fuck up. Bring him down. Shut the fuck up. The weekend also doesn't have a deep enough voice for this role, if I'm being honest. That bring him down here now. That's not convincing me right now. This is a very uncomfortable scene, uh, I will say. And again, I mean, they're they're doing a good job making it feel uncomfortable. Dead Rose, please. Are you going to cooperate? I think you lie. Why don't you tell anyone? that her mother was humiliating her and beating her. She asked me not to fucking tell anyone, so I didn't. That's not fucking true, Xander. You fucking did. Did you not? Her mom didn't fucking like that I was a good singer or some shit, so she fucking- Made you sign a fucking contract? Yeah. And this bitch right here, she's so much in denial about what mom did and what she could have done or would have done or did do to Xander that she's just, she's just saying that he's lying, knowing damn well that her mom was probably that person knowing what she did to her why would she not do it to xander as well but she doesn't want to hear that about her dead mom who would tell the fucking truth xander you're more fucking disgusting fucked up than your mom than your bitch cunt of a mother yeah 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 you see the raw emotion tedros maybe he's not lying after all maybe this bitch is in denial The banger of a track. So Can't even front. It needs to be like the ah. Yeah, I, I I see what you mean. You like it's good though, right? Oh, just more great. Show the world a little bit more of what you got. I I like the song. Yeah, see, 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 she's a fucking smart motherfucker. The way Tedros is pushing ever pushing everybody to the limit, like with this whole fucking shit that just happened to Xander, she's doing it in a much more subtle, subconscious way. Like Tedros doesn't want to hear that the song is just I right, that it could be better. He thinks this shit is a masterpiece and it's gonna get under his fucking skin. That's why he's like, I like the song. I can't help but continue to notice his his tats. Oh yeah, I mean he's been to prison like a couple. Of okay, times. so you know you know their prison tats. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fucking crazy ex-girlfriend i think he choked they were like getting in a fight you know what I mean? he choked her he helped you know he just was trying to like fend her off i think yeah yeah you hear how she's making excuses for him like ah, he might he might i think he was just trying to fight her off so he fucking choked her instead of pushed her away that's the sounds of someone who is in abusive relationship it's like rule number one that people make people make excuses for the people of power in the for them to like ah, oh, that he just did this because I, oh, I burnt the chicken that night. So he'd be, it's really my fault. That's basically what she's doing in the story right now. But like self-defense kind of thing. The girl kind of made it seem like he had punched her first. Oh, that's kind I of mean, like. At some point though, he did hit her, right? So he was just trying to like defend himself. And then this girl came out and was like, he hit me and everything. And like made it this whole thing like he had abused her. And then. And then. This bitch is dumb. Lily Rose Depp, her fucking character is dumb as fuck. Jocelyn. Jenny's fucking coming in under the from under the wood out of the woodwork taking her whole fucking deal and her song and her tour she's in tedros's fucking control and now she's lying on for tedros on behalf of him to this chick who is obviously much more smart and much street much more street smart than she is i'm gonna let you go because tedros believes in you but you need to do something for him he needs to kill him that'd be fire <laughs> like they were musicians a work situation yeah and they were trying to like extort him for money and so they kind of like all got together and they went to the cops and they told the cops that he was like their pimp. And then he went to prison for like six years. Bro, uh, come on, Jocelyn, you can't be this stupid. No wonder you don't want to think for yourself like the song says, because you're dumb. You're dumb. I wouldn't want to think for myself either. Oh, no, no, no. All these people came together to extort him and say that he was their pimp. Don't you see what's going on in the house right now? I got a great fucking idea. When I was three years old, was of my mother beating me with a hairbrush. For 22 years, she physically and emotionally abused me. 
every day. I just want to extend my deepest <laughs> gratitude. And I also want to make a promise. I'm not going to let the trauma of my past affect the person that I want to be moving forward. What's that melody in the background? It's a weekend song, but I, I don't know what it is. You. There's a new Jocelyn coming. Party time! Let's go! There's a lot of tequila in this song. So brace yourself. What are you doing? It's a party. Yeah, I know. The, the wood is teak, so I was just, just cleaning it up so that it doesn't stain. You're ruining the whole fucking night, and you're still a fucking bitch. For no fucking reason! I'm, she's my friend, you just like embarrassed her in front of everyone. Dude, she didn't fucking like you. Why would she like you? Why the fuck do you like him? What the fuck? You just said your friend doesn't like her. Why, like, you don't realize, wh why do you like him? I'm not gonna let the trauma of my past affect me for who I am today, but the trauma of my past is why I let this guy who's causing trauma to everybody else in. Diane's here. I hope she's not mad at you. I know she really likes him. How does she know him? I told Diane to bring you to the club. She didn't think he would have sex with you. Yeah, 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 bitch. Now you're realizing it's all a fucking setup. You're realizing this shit is all an act at this point. Oh, shit. I done fucked up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There was somebody in the inside the whole time. Nikki asked me to step in and perform World Class Center. And she wants me to have World Class Center as my first single. Oh, I shit. say yes. I said I would ask you first. Congratulations. That's crazy. Um, yeah, yeah. It's crazy how the music industry can just move on from you whenever you have a psychotic breakdown. Isn't that insane? I would have never knew. I mean, that's a huge opportunity. And I'm, 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 I would feel awful to stand in the way of that. So I'm going to go get you a drink. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. forgot who the fuck Rob is. Who the fuck is this guy? Do I know him? Has he been in the show? Uh-oh. Oh, shit. Uh -oh. What the fuck? What? Isn't that Jocelyn's ex? Rob over there? Hey, yo. He dropped that fucking dollar bill way too early for the line. <laughs> he dropped that bitch before she finished her line. Hey, yo. What the fuck? Pink. Oh, shit. What the fuck? What? Isn't that Jocelyn's ex? Rob over there? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Let's see. Let's see the bitch. girl. Come show me your true colors. Tedros, pay me a picture with your true colors. Hey, you want a shot, Rob? So who invited you, Rob? Jocelyn. When? Ten minutes ago. Tonight. How do you know Jocelyn? Let's take another shot, huh? Let's go. Let's go. It's a party. Bottoms up. And how the strings unravel. Oh. You sure you want to do another one? What are you, a faggot? Dog, how many of these fucking one-liners can we have in one show? Holy shit. Are you fucking retarded? <laughs> Abel, come on, dog. Come on. I told you I was- Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Got him! Oh, so oh shit. Have you met the Kung Fu Master here? No. <laughs> Wasted times. I slept with someone else. You're on my mind. I feel like I never should have left. No, I would have resented you for staying. It was too big of an opportunity. I said, put some clothes on, you fucking lunatic. See, Rob's a normal fucking guy. Rob don't play those games. He ain't no simp. That's my boy right there. Jocelyn, open the door. You know, I bought this outfit to come and meet you in Germany. Before you fucked your co-star and broke my delicate little heart. You're the one that said it was born to be monogamous. I'm in a really good place. No the fuck you're not, bitch. What are you talking? <laughs> it's already way better of a sex scene than the first one with the weekend. Can't even front. Because this is someone who actually cares about her, I assume, which is why we're doing this, like in the in the light and in the manner that we are. So call out my name, call out my name when I kiss you so gently. Damn, he's gonna kill him, huh? He's gonna fucking kill him. This is my friend Sophie. Hi. It would mean the world if we could just take like one photo. She's like my best friend, seriously. Just one photo. Wow, this so is they're gonna fuck okay, the like like out way more than this is I'm perfect. Sorry, this is way more than I expected. And delete that fucking photo, bro. Hose, bro. Hose, bro. All right, uh. 
Are these shows going anywhere? Are we? Are we? The the, the not the last two episodes better be fucking crazy. They better go dumb because I feel like we're just fucking waiting in the water right now. We're not moving in any direction. Nothing crazy is going down. It's kind of we're just here. We're just here right now. Obviously, we're gonna see the thing through because I was gonna see it through regardless. But we got to do it for the for the for the show and the channel. But I mean, how do I feel? Like if there was any episode that like maybe every episode I was like, all right, this isn't you know I could see what's happening. This episode, though, right here, it just feels like if there's an episode that's going to make me not come back to the series, it's going to be this one right here. I just, I don't know. I just feel like we're four episodes in and we're in on a sit on this five episode fucking she series. Like there's only five episodes and it didn't get picked up for another season. That shit's going to get canceled. I'm sure from the backlash and the and the criticism that it's been receiving. Can't say that they're wrong for that. But yeah, we're not going anywhere. We're not making any moves. We're, we're kind of just stagnant right now in the show, especially with like these mini series style. Normally you jam pack like a lot of like, let's just say, for example, Chernobyl, right? Chernobyl was six episodes, I believe. Obviously a much more tense subject than this one is, but I felt like every episode I was like, fuck, man, I can't wait until the next episode. I don't feel that way with this. I just feel like, all right, you know, I'm, it's entertaining. You know, I'm entertained by it, but it's not like, ah, I can't wait till Sunday comes and rolls around, which is probably why y'all are seeing this on Thursday, Thursday, and the show the show aired four days ago. Like there was nothing that was like, ah, for sure, I got to make sure that I get this out on monday it's just not that show for me right now but let me know what y'all guys are thinking are y'all enjoying it do y'all feel like me someone tell me and i'll catch y'all guys in the last two it says it's part one of two so i don't know if we have two more episodes or is it just gonna be one long ass episode but i'll see y'all guys then later